Today, we're going to demonstrate how to install 1 quarter inch USG Fiberoc underlayment over 3 quarters inch USG Structocrete brand structural panels, creating an even and smooth substrate surface for floor covering. First, be sure you have the proper tools on hand. For this install, we recommend the items listed here. Next, clean your work surface to remove dust and debris. Lay down a modified thin set mortar or adhesive to bond the structocrete panel and the fiberock underlayment. USG recommends bonding the structocrete panel and fiberock underlayment with modified thin set mortar. Lay your first panel, starting at a corner edge. You'll want to make sure that any cut edges of the fiberock underlayment base layer are against the wall maintaining a one quarter inch space between panels and perimeter walls. You may find it easiest to lay down the mortar and panels one at a time so you can walk and kneel on the floor as you lay down panels without disrupting the mortar. Only clean factory edges should be joined. Be sure to stagger joints to a minimum of 12 inches so that four panel corners never meet. Offset end and edge joints of panels a minimum of 12 inches from subfloor panel joints. Join panel edges and ends lightly together. A maximum of 1 seconds inch gap is allowed. Note that the fiberock underlayment should be flat throughout the entire flooring area without joints lifting. Use staples to hold panel layers together during the mortar drying period. Begin fastening where three panels intersect. Use an appropriate amount of staples and spacing to hold the panels firmly in place until the adhesive dries. Ensure panels are kept firmly in place during the curing period to make certain the surface of the panels are true, level, and square for the application of the finished materials, as instructed by the finished flooring manufacturer. Be sure to set tool pressure to drive fasteners flush or slightly below the underlayment surface. Fastener length should be approximately equal to the thickness of the underlayment panels. To prevent fastener heads from telegraphing through the resilient floor covering, don't countersink more than 1 16th inch below the surface. How joints are treated is dependent on the type of flooring material that you'll be installing. When installing ceramic flooring, underlayment joints on the face ply are treated with tile setting adhesive such as a latex fortified mortar or type 1 mastic embedded in alkali resistant mesh tape like USG Duroc brand tile backer tape. If installing resilient flooring as we are here, feathering joint compound is all you need to minimize joint telegraphing. Use compound sparingly to fill wide joints, repair any surface voids and correct joint lippage where panel edges sit above or below the floor plane. Allow the compound to dry completely, then lightly sand or scrape taking care not to scuff the panel surface. Use a flat blade to scrape away any excess material and remove dust, dirt, and debris from the underlayment surface before application of the floor covering. And that's it. You've just installed USG Fiberock underlayment over USG Structocrete panels.